Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back to another video series on UiPath storage buckets. I will show you how to download files from UiPath storage buckets using download storage file activity in UiPath Studio. So let's get started. So we will take one example of config file. Every automation requires config files to store the dynamic settings such as file paths, credentials, any workflow, parameters, exception messages like system exceptions, business exception messages, log messages, etc. And we used to keep config files in the code itself, in the data folder under project, right? Now, whenever a change required in the config file, like changing the file path or changing the exception messages, then we have to modify that config and then, then we have to publish the code and deploy it again. Now what we can do, instead of embedding the config file directly in the code or deploying a new package every time it changes, you can use storage buckets to upload your config file and download when boot runs. And any changes to the config file can be made directly in the storage buckets without modifying the boot's code. I have this config file where we have all the settings, except some messages. Okay. Now we are going to create one storage bucket for the process HR onboarding process. So we'll create one storage buckets. Select the orchestrator. Now click add. Now we have created this. Now I'm going to upload config file. So click on this. Click upload new file. Browse select this config open upload now we have uploaded this config file here now in the process we need to download that so as per the re framework structure we are keeping the file in the data folder right and then we are directly passing that path in the init all settings in the init state and then we are reading now what we'll do first download that and then store in a separate folder. Mention that path in that init all setting workflow. So instead of like putting data slash config at XLSS file, you can say any download folder where you are downloading this. So download folder slash config dot XLX file. And then it will read it from there. Now let me show you how to download this file. You can take one step. So you can take one activity that is download storage file okay you can mention this path here so the file path is this one config.xlsx and this is available in the root folder so we need to mention slash config.xlsx so we'll say slash config.xlsx if you if you have this inside the folder you need to mention that folder here now we need to mention the storage buckets name so take this bucket name hr onboarding automation paste here right side go to the folder path enter that folder name where you can locate this bucket and then where do you want to save this if you are passing any folder and the complete file name file path then it will be saved to that location Otherwise, it will be saved to the this project folder here. So I'm going to download this to the download folder. So right side in this two section file name and location. We need to enter that. So this is the path and then we need to mention the file name. So I want to download this file as a only config.xlsx or if you want to mention your process name like process ID, any ID assigned to that process like P001 or if related to the HR then HR001 something like that now click OK now we, this is ready to download the file from bucket let's run this okay so this has downloaded the file let's open download folder so you can see here config file has been downloaded now what we can do you have given the path where you want to download that now you just need to pass that file path to that init all settings workflow and then you already have all these things written there so it will start reading from there 
and then whenever there is change required you can modify that you can go to this bucket if you want to delete it you can delete flow the phrase so this way you can use config file you can store this config file in the storage buckets and you can avoid create a new version every time whenever a small changes you are doing in the config file i hope this tutorial is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching this video